I'd sit and turn the TV on, and it was Apollo program. You know, it was we were we were going to the moon, and we were the astronauts were were flying, you know, Gemini and Apollo, and you were watching this, going, "Wow, this is really cool." So I played astronaut when I was a kid. I used to sit in a cardboard box and dream I was going to the moon in uh, the mid '60s, because that's what was on TV, and that's what we wanted to be. But I never realized, thought that dream could become a reality, until all these things in my life came together, and I met certain people that encouraged me and. Well, I flew in uh, November of 2002. You climb in the vehicle about three hours before launch. Um, and so you're laying on your back about three hours, realizing that, you know, you'll be flying to space here sometime soon. And then about 30 seconds before launch, I thought, I'm actually going to space, you know? Wow, this is, I'm actually going to space. Engines light off, solids light, get kick in the pants, and uh, engines quit. You're, you're floating. Your books are floating, and uh, to be at the edge of the space station, and you know, 220 miles, you know, straight down to the Earth, but you're looking across the Earth's horizon, and you're looking off into space, and you realize that <laughs> there's nobody between you and whatever's out there. You know, that's a pretty incredible feeling. That's one thing I remember. I remember that the rest of my life. Yeah. As a kid, you don't, you know, you have these questions, but as you get older, you get more education, and you start asking a lot more questions, you start looking for answers. When kids start looking for answers, you know, you find those answers in, in college. Kids want to be inspired by things that motivate them and engage them. It's what motivates anybody to want to study? And what motivates anybody to want to do something? It's what, is it important to you? Is it make a difference in my life? You know, and we can say, well, yeah, it does. Here's an example. Then they go, oh, and then maybe that'll set them down that path. It's not easy, it takes a lot of effort, but the, you know, the easy things in life, you know, they don't have the same return on investment that education does. Um, I think that's what my responsibility is in the second half of my life, to um, motivate students, to inspire them. They can do something that they dream about doing, but they have to realize that there's a path that they have to follow to get there. And it's not an easy path. But it's a path that's realistic and, and, and can, be, can happen if you put forth your best effort and you listen to people. Yeah. That's what I do.